A new day, a new project. Let's talk about my old trusty camera GF2 Lumix from Panasonic. Well, I just bought me a new SD card. That's a SanDisk Extreme A2. And uh, we'll have the benchmark uh, in a second. So here is the results with Crystal Mark for the first uh, SanDisk SD card. The old one I had, 45 megs. And look the new one it's almost double i like that so that's why i want to experiment this new tweakings this is very capable 160 megabytes per second for reading and 60 megabytes for writing it's almost double like the old one i used to have it in my camera so because of the new one and the speeds and so on i can afford to hack the firmware of my trusty GF2 DMC Panasonic. It's very simple to do that. Just one software and of course the original firmware from Panasonic. We'll see the results before and after the hack. Okay, so let's start doing. First of all, I'm gonna install the original firmware. To install the software, you have to have the battery, first of all, full loaded. And then the firmware should be righted on the root of this SD card get into the camera, turn the camera on and then push play and there we are. So this will install the original firmware back in place. So here is the page where you can get the original uh, Panasonic GF2 uh, firmware. It's very simple to have that installed. You just uh, download, unzip and copy in the root of the SD card. So this is a first uh, first video recording with the original software. I just transfer from SD card to the hard disk. Let's open it up. I love to use Total Commander like a file manager. So that's the video with the original software here. It's not bad at all, but with this new speed card, I can improve the image quality and uh, look at the details. They are pretty okay. I know it can be better. This uh, footage, it's like one minute long. Now I have to open the file in a program, in a software called GH3 and let's analyze the characteristics. What we see there, we've read, those are iframes, very important iframes, and they gives the GOP number, group of pictures number. Let's see that a little bit closer. And we have an average video bitrate of 16 megabits per second. And the GOP originally was on 12. That's uh, the distance between each of the iframes. In our case, it's 12. We can get a better bitrate and we can also change the GOP number to have more iframes. Those frames are not compressed. Those are the, how can I say, the repair for the eventually compressing rate. To do all these firmware changings, we have to use a software called P-Tool. Thanks Vitalik ECLF, all the credits to you. Let's open the original uh, firmware and there are some things we can change in the firmware code. First of all, 30 minutes limit off. Now we can shoot as much as you like. And then the ISO maximum and the video bitrate and uh, of course the GOP, the auto quantizer and uh, so many others. Now I have to experiment with different bitrate and different GOP numbers. After all the changes have been done, we have to save the new firmware and of course a different number. Usually it's to increase the number, like 12, 13 and so on. Then just copy the new firmware in the SD card root and let's go and install it like I showed you before. Uh, firmware it's uh, uploading now so soon it'll be ready it's taking uh, like two minutes or something 
Now it's done, so we have to turn the camera on and off and start shooting. Let's have a close up. I'm looking for details because this camera will be used more for close ups than uh, view the big picture, let's say. Let's start recording. And there we are. The transfer to the SD card was not fast enough, so it's looking like I was pushing too much the bitrate and the limits of the bitrate. So we have to have another try. Because of this the camera now it's blocked, so don't panic, just take off the battery. So back to PT Tools and uh, let's have the last uh, test for this uh, project. And uh, this is number 20, so in the meantime it looks like 10 tries or something. So 30 minutes removal, maximizer removal, PAL NTCC menu. Now we go to bitrate. AVC hash decompression, that's very important. We go to a rate of 42 millions bytes per second, bits per second, and the other one, 720, is going to 35. Auto quantizer 2, 4, all of them, so more info for details. GOP on 3, and we'll save all these settings for uh, eventually new firmware it's easy to save just shift and have the description of the file GOP3 and 42 mil uh, bits per second remember this is almost four times more than uh, than the stock firmware there we go save the firmware transfer to SD card root install it uh, in the Panasonic camera and let's have some shooting tests okay so this is a test to firmware number 20 bitrate on 42 millions and the GOP on 3 let's see how it's working now I looking for details and of course the quantity and of course quantizer to four or for details let's see out there you can feel the improvement already better details we'll do a compare pretty soon so this is from the inside through the window the details are much better let's zoom in a little bit zooming with this objective it's pretty hard you know it's not uh, going so easy there we are so it's firmware number 20 I'm outside for real let me have some details here the temperature it's like 3 degrees it's pretty cold and uh, as you see it's a really rainy day luckily we have this lovely umbrellas here to have a little bit of color until the grass will grow it's pretty stable for now like I said uh, the bitrate it's almost four times more than the original the quantizer it's on four I mean more info for details instead of motion because I love it to to have better close-ups than uh, speed and uh, GOP on 3 that means there are a lot of iframes those are 
the non-compressed frames, the ones who give the direction for the compression software, how to behave and how to do the compression with the later frames. So we got almost two minutes, with, it's two minutes and two seconds and it's looking like pretty stable. Well, I think that's it for now. Possibly, I can uh, have more from this little camera. But let's face it, it's a 10 years old camera, still running great. And uh, for 12.1 megapixel, I think it's a really good video quality. Now let's have a quick compare. This is the original with the original firmware. 12 million bits per second with GOP 15 I call, recall or uh, no GOP 12 was it that's the original software the original firmware that came with the camera and right now we go to the new one with 42 millions uh, bits Per second and GOP 3 also quantizer on 4 for more details so it's very easy to see the difference I think I can even go farther for a higher bitrate but for now I'm really satisfied with this that's the numbers for the original video with the original firmware so we have a average video bitrate of 16 million bits per second and uh, also you can see with the red with the red are the eye frames you know the uncompressed frames or the how can i say the the ones who give the quality of the compression somehow so uh, it's nice to have more eye frames than uh, than the rest of it and uh, then we have a shooting that's the screenshot from the latest uh, firmware number 19 by my tests of course bitrate went up to 46 million bit per second and you can see from the picture that we have a lot of red eye frames in between no more p frames and uh, most of the video it's i frame and b frame so that's supposed to have and to give us a better video quality this gives a new life of a very good camera pretty old let's say but still capable of really nice performance so i think uh, that's it for today i hope it's useful if you have uh, any question don't hesitate to send them i'll do the best to answer in the meantime until the new project wish you well and be safe. Bye-bye.